welcome to the Knitting Samurai Plus One video podcast. This is episode 58, More Addictive Than Self-Striping Socks. I am your host, Steph, also known as Knitting Samurai over on Ravelry, and this is take three, which means I'm going to go a lot faster. <laughs> um, yeah, how you doing? It's been a few days, it's been about 10 days since we last spoke, and I'm happy to see you here. Thanks for joining me. I want to um, also send a big thank you to everyone who's left iTunes ratings. Really appreciate that. And reviews. I, there was a new one this week from Bell Laws. So thank you so much for your kind words. I really appreciate it. Ready to talk knitting? All right. First up, I have finished my Patton's Croy socks knit with the... Um, Rag Shade Rose Brown Marl colorway. They're just a simple 2x2 two two rib on US 1.5-2.5 millimeter needles. Um, I typically knit socks on US 1s. I do go up when I knit with the Croix. I've knit several pairs with this yarn. Uh, just because I think it's more of a sport weight yarn. So I, I can get a dense enough fabric that I'm happy with it. They wear like armor, so I'm very happy to have another pair of these off the needles. Yay! I spoke a lot about these before, so I don't want to waste too much time on that. Um, another thing, oh, since this is take three, I took them off. Well, so you've seen this before. This is my little mug sweater, right? That's version one. Version two has been assembled. Assemble your crew. Um, let's see if I could do this quick. Maybe, maybe. Okay, yes. It's slightly complicated to dress your mug, which is surprising. So I do have eye hooks, hook and eyes, eyes on the inside of the mittens so we can position them. Happy to have that. And there's the second one. Boys, no fighting. No fighting. They're sitting right below the camera, and uh, Mac didn't want to be talked to at this moment. He's like, I'm just chilling here. It's hot. I'm, I'm not interested. So anyways. This is by Christina Paulson. I knit it using Tacky Terry, which is a 50-50 wool alpaca yarn. Why you can't sit on the notes? You could sit on me. Um, using US size 6s, 4.0 millimeter needles. And there you go. So this is some of the oldest yarn in my stash. Makes me really happy. I didn't finish off the skeins, but it's always good to use some of that older yarn. So this... Um, is going to now be packed up and go to my sister-in-law. And the mug, in case you're wondering, is a mug my parents got me for Christmas one year. That is Mac and Linus. My two boys. Mac is the big one. Well, he's not so big now. Linus went to the vet this week. He's up to nine and a half pounds. Devin Rex cat's male should be between seven and nine, so he's a little smidge overweight. But he is nine years old, and the vet did not care. She was like, bye. Someone's at the door. Someone's gone. You guess. So, <laughs> so these are off my needles using some of that older stash yarn, as I was saying, which I think I said this last time too. Put me in the mood to use some more of it. So I had a third skein, which is this brown colorway. Um, and I started looking around, what can I do? And I cast on for the Snowball Buddies by Susan Clavino. So this is the brown color of it. I have now knit, I don't know if I showed them all to you, but four of these, which are the reindeer bodies. Four of the reindeer, and then, okay, sorry, I gotta lean. Two. Oh, my, is it a bunny? <laughs> so... Um, I ordered nose and eyes from 6060 on Etsy. She does super fast shipping. She's great. I think her name is Clara. I ordered them on Saturday. The noses were here because I already had eyes. I just ordered more eyes, but I needed the noses to finish the bodies. The, they were here by Tuesday. Amazing. Um, and I got a pack of six noses, so I am going to knit six of these guys with with noses because the reindeer have the pom-poms so what can I tell you about it the eyes don't really show up so much I hope the glare the reflection of the light will help you see the eyes on the uh, dark gray yarn so I won't do any more with this color but here is the bunny and I did tack down the scarf the scarf is knit separate 
And when I got to the end, I did, you know, bury my, my yarn in there and try and pull the pieces back to give them a little more life. You know, snug it up a little bit so there was some tension and they would curl instead of just sticking out to the side. I like the mouse. Bunny is okay. Not so wild about the bunny. Um, I am planning to give some mice away as just, you know, teacher gifts pick-me-ups, whatever, so there, there will be some mice leaving my house. <laughs> but um, the bunny is going to be part of my set, so we're going to have the bunny, a reindeer, and a mouse that we keep for our tree, and they're all going to have these same color sequences. So what can I tell you about that? Um, they're all going to match, right? And I feel like I'm missing something. You know how it is when you record several times. That's that. I went to the craft store and bought my pom-poms for the nose. And then the bunny does get a pink tail. So I'll put the tail on the bunny, but I'm not going to knit any other bunnies. I didn't. I found it kind of boring because it, it, it's like flesh color or fur color to knit this color versus the fun of the purple and pinks. And no, I don't really, Christmas mouse, I think that's a thing, but I'm not going to knit them as Christmas mice. So the reindeer are all Christmas themed, but the mice are not going to, except for the one for our set, are not going to be. Because this is very important that you know all of my planning about these snowball buddies. Um, crap, what was I going to say? Oh, so, so far with this, with the reindeer, I have knit, I need to knit four sets, well, make it five sets of antlers and ears for the reindeer so it's kind of slow doing that and I've been trying to get myself to just do a half an hour a day and I have three sets done so once those are done it'll be a mad sewing on session and I'll have those sewing on and then I think I need a hot glue gun to get the pom-poms on I'm not sure what's the best way to do it they're not for children no so I think that'll be fine enough fine enough but I did have a no idea I knit I think it was this one, all the way down, bound off, and realized I didn't put in the safety eyes. So I undid a couple rows, took out all the stuffing, and went back in and did surgery. So there you go. Snowball buddies. So much fun. Highly recommend them. Um, oh, and I did pick up some bows to put on the ears and the tails of the mice. And, and this was just at Joanne's. I think a couple blocks for those two things. And then this is the red cord that I'm going to use for the back of, for hanging the ornament right there. So there, there you go. The, the, those blah, blah, blah. <laughs> are the small items that you are aware of, almost all of them. No, not really. Dishcloths, still working on the grandmother's dishcloth pattern using US size six needles. And this color happens to be psychedelic. This is peaches and cream. Um, I, I have to stop going to the big box craft store because I keep buying things and I refuse to enter. Well, I did enter, but they're not going to live in the cotton stash bin in the garage. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to knit all of this cotton that I just bought since it spoke to me and I was inspired by it and we can always use new dishcloths. I'm going to knit it and I've actually started as I'm using his, because Roland uses, we use these as like napkins slash wipe up your face after a meal for Roland. and. Uh, I started throwing them away <laughs> as we use them. They're old and tattered, you know, just throw it away. So I'm going to run out and that, that will also be incentive to finish them off. <laughs> New yarn. New yarn. So I told you I ordered from Inspiration Dye Works. I did, ordered two skeins. Ha! This is the punk stripe in her basic sock. And then this is the caution stripe in her fluffy plus. Now, I've knit with a basic sock before, and I love that yarn. I know it's going to be awesome. That's the, it's her 75-25 wool nylon or merino nylon four-ply. The Fluffy Plus is, I wrote it down, 80-20 nylon, 80-20 uh, merino nylon, but it's a two-ply. It is gorgeous. It is, I'm not sure how it's going to wear because it's a two-ply, and I've heard from those spinners out there that the more plies, the stronger wearing a sock is, and I agree with that. So I know that this is going to work for me. Not sure how this is going to hold up, but I jumped in. I went down a needle size, so I am using US 1s, 
2.25 millimeter needles. I might even, I could probably go down a little more size to get it even denser, but I did cast on another pair of socks. Of course, of course. Don't you just love this? So this caution stripe, these are my Bruin, Bruin socks. Mm -hmm. um, they hadn't lost when I cast them on and I thought it would be helpful, so oh well. Um, <laughs> not so helpful. I did my part though, I really tried. Uh, <laughs> not, not that I'm a Bruins fan and I don't need to belittle the loss. It is sad and Steve was very upset. But let me tell you about these socks. Okay, so this is me trying lots of different things. My socks lately, since I have been knitting them on 1.1 1 .1 US 1, the smaller size ones. So you know how ones come in two sizes. So the smaller size, the 2.25 millimeter. I've been knitting them with those and I typically do 12 stitches on each needle of the toe. My socks have had too much negative ease lately. They're not as comfortable as they used to be. And I think part of it is that I went down in needle size because I want that denser fabric. So I've decided that instead of 64 stitches for my size 11 foot, I'm going to go up to 68. So I did that. But I'm also thinking that the toes have been a little snugger. So instead of casting on 12, because it's a smaller needle size, I cast on 16 on each needle. And like when I put my foot in the sock, they, it fits very nicely along the curve of my toes, if that makes sense. So um, I'm trying that, and then I'm also trying to cut back on the amount of negative ease. Instead of doing the normal two by two rib, I'm doing a three by one rib. So that'll, the socks won't draw in as much. So lots of tweaks here. And it's also gonna cause it to be, I can't think of the word, co, co something. Like I won't be able to draw a causal relationship. Was it the toe being wider? Was it the rib? Was it the smaller needles? What made these socks fit so much better? I know it's not a good experiment, but if all the things work out, maybe that's, that's my new combination, my magic combination for toe up socks. Could be, I don't know. So, caution stripe, inspiration dye works. I love it, I love it. I've been like, no Stephanie, you cannot order any more, but I want to use this Fluffy Plus to knit some, um, like a shawl, something, something big that goes around my neck. Maybe mittens. I need mittens for running back, maybe. Maybe club. I don't know. I, I need to be happy and thankful for what I have and knit with the two colors I just got, but then once those are gone, I'm ordering more. Mm. So, <laughs> that's my new yarn. I have one other new yarn, and I saved it for you. So, I am in the Into the World Club. And I didn't open my package. It came, but I didn't open it. So if you're on the club and you don't want to see, don't look. Okay, I'm going to open it. I'm going to open it. Who doesn't want to live airing, live unveiling of these? Ooh. Ooh. This is her uh, Tachula, I'm going to try. Her Tachula base, which is a three ply, two plies are super wash, and one ply is just plain merino, which gives it this awesome barber pole effect. I really like that base. It's cool. I haven't knit with it yet. Um, and I wouldn't want to use it for socks because one ply is not fingering weight, is not um, super wash. But, oh, this can be something glorious. So this one is End of Innocence. I'm thinking we're done with the, uh, I, I haven't researched this. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's interesting. In this section right here, you can't tell the difference, but everywhere else it looks barber pole. So there's like orange with red, there's fuchsia with magenta, there's plum with lavender, and there's like sage green with dark forest green. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful autumnal yarn. End of Innocence. I don't think that's uh, Game of Thrones, huh? Yeah. I don't know. I'll have to go look at our inspiration. So that's 400 yards of a fingering weight. Oh, don't you love their yards? Glorious! Glorious! Um, sorry, Lai. Sorry, sorry. The bag's gone. I, I, won't, I won't scare you anymore. Okay. And now, I have two more things left to talk about. Yeah, two more things. The first thing, which is what has been completely possessing me since Saturday is this thing that is more addictive than knitting self-striping socks. You ready? 
I know. It's going to blow your mind. Self-striping preemie hats. <laughs> I could crank these babies out one a day. It's a great use of leftover yarns. And then I have some that are not self-striping, just using up some leftover yarns from my stash. Are they not the cutest little thing? So every, every, well, I would, I didn't do it last year, but the previous year I did knit 20 preemie hats and uh, sent them off to Melia Bella for, uh, I don't remember the name. No, I can't remember. I'm sorry. I sent them off to Melia Bella for her, and I don't have a phone to look it up, for the charity that she runs for uh, preemie hats in honor of her little niece that uh, was a preemie. I didn't make it. So she is doing another round of collections, or uh, inspiring people, I guess, to knit preemie hats again, reminding us all that it is the anniversary of her niece's passing, birth and passing. And, um, and this year, this time, they're sending them to Boston's Children's Hospital, which is not that far away from us. And so I jumped right on it and said, okay, I'm down with that. So um, you might recognize that. From a pair of socks. These are my delivery socks. That's um, three use twist and fiber. The Harry Potter colorway. This one is Desert Vista Dye Works Schools in Session colorway. This is some Claudia hand paints. Then I had this is I don't remember. It's that stretchy sock yarn. I don't know. I knit rolling a pair of socks out of these. This is. Um, Schaefer Nicole, which was officially my favorite yarn in the whole entire world for very many years. I'm talking like three years. And then I bought it all over the place. And oh, line it, Mac. Stop that. Hey, please stop. <laughs> um, I bought it all over the place and saved it. And it's classified in my head as for special sock yarn for special yarn it's not sock yarn well it is but I don't I've knit a couple shawls with it and I love this yarn it's so dense it's an 80 20 anyways I need to use more of this Mac may jump in front of you he's a little rambunctious over there and then this one is knit picks Felici Felici sport I know that um, if you were, have watched any of the mustache podcasts any of their episodes Stacy is a huge Felici sock knitter, and uh, I have a, happen to have quite a bit of it in my stash. But Stacy, you might want to consider using some of your leftovers to knit preemie hats because I think that the Felici Felici Sport is the absolute best preemie hat knitting yarn that there is. So these are knit on uh us 2.5 3.0 millimeter needles and they're just you can bang them out i've done one a day since i started right no i did an extra one in there well it was sunday so i'm going to knit 10 and then send them off to melissa meliabella from the his and hers podcast there are details in their group about the preemie hat collection drive that they're doing and then I think that's all I have to say about that. Yeah, I have some other preemie hats that uh, I knit a while ago that I'm gonna also throw in with these. So it'll be a good, a good bunch. So I should be done these in a few days and get them out in the mail. So yay, preemie hats! They're so addictive, though. So much fun. So much fun. And I was thinking, like this one, I have enough to do another one. So what happens if I? I mean, I know what happens, but if I start it on a blue stripe. Will it look surprisingly different and will it end with, if I started on blue, will it end with a pink knot at the top? Oh, I didn't tell you, the pattern is by Karen Everett. I always use her pattern. I don't know why. I think it's because I have it memorized, so it's quick, easy to do, no matter what I'm doing. So, uh, lastly, we are doing a baby blanket knit along. I, I know you're so shocked at my progress on my blankets. I know. I know, I know. I have one more baby left to knit for. Um, last week we had Jeanette's shower and I gave her the pie shawl and she was really happy with that and it matches the, well it will match the purple 
the baby's room was going to be purple, and so that had a purple trim on it, so it would be a nice accent color. Um, but anyways, we are doing a baby blanket knit along. I've had some major stash, not stash, Q increasing going on as I look at some of those projects. They're awesome out there. I love it. Um, I want to encourage you to post for June. We'll do another prize drawing next time I... I podcast it will the month of June will have passed so you have until the 30th to post your FO in the thread I'll do a prize drawing with everyone that's had a picture in there and you could win a pattern of your choice on wrap and then for July I'd like to incent you a little bit so you have time if you would like to knit a baby blanket and get it in there for July the prize is going to be this skein of Hiawassee Creek in her hugs and kisses colorway so that I believe is a self-striping self yarn and it has Stellina in it. As you can see it sparkles. So if you are interested in being in the drawing for this, knit a baby blanket between now and July 31st. And that's the show folks. That's all I've got for you this week. I hope you have a great 10 days or so until I see you again. And take care of yourself. <laughs> that is it. That is it, Daddy. Okay, I love you guys. We love you too. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. Oh, he's bye -bye. waving. He what? He waved. Okay, bye-bye, Roman. I'm waving too. Bye-bye. 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 Love you, dear. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Bye.